Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do my June favorites. Um, I can't believe June is already over because I hate summer in Florida. Um, it gets way too hot. It's like in the 90s today, I think, and uh, yet I'm filming outside. But notice my door is open and my air conditioning's on. <laughs> um, so it's not as bad as you might think. But if I get oily, it's not my foundation. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I have a lot from this month. So, and I wanted to like mention a couple of YouTubers and stuff too this month. So, one thing that I've been loving, speaking of the heat, is this Shuomura Depsy Mist, uh, Depsy Water Mist, and a uh, mint which may sound weird but how refreshing right it's like oh god I could just like spray it on myself all day but um it's not like like look at I've already used I've only had this a couple weeks and I've used quite a bit of it considering it's just a mist but I pretty much just spray this whenever I want to usually after I wash my face it feels really good then but um it really like just gives you kind of a mood boost so I got this during the 20% off sale they were having and uh, love it. I'm pretty much just loving facial mists in general right now. Um, also from Shuomura in terms of skincare, I've been using, this is one I haven't opened yet, but the ones I was using I already threw away. So um, this is the skin purifier. You can't see because there's text like all around the bottle. but. Um, yeah, no. It's the Skin Purifier uh, High Performance Clen Balancing Cleansing Oil, but there are all different ones. I've used the green one, I've used the purple one, um, but yeah, I love using these to clean my face. I've been, I haven't used like soap or like traditional cleansers like all month, and um, I've been liking the change. My skin doesn't feel like, I hate that tight feeling after you wash your face that some cleansers will give you and you never get that with the, with cleansing oils my face always feels like really soft and moisturized so um another non-makeup related item is this perfume which is flora by gucci and it's glamorous magnolia i think it's limited edition for summer oh my god um I'm just like gonna put everything that I talk about on me today apparently but um I get so many compliments when I wear this and uh and I'm already used like half the bottle I think I'm gonna have to buy another one because it smells so good and if they stop selling it I'm gonna cry so yeah I don't know how to describe how it smells it just smells really fresh and citrusy pretty much all the scents that I usually think I don't like but I like it in this one <laughs> so you should definitely try them out there's three in the line um, okay so you already know I'm gonna talk about this one L'Oreal true match Lumi foundation my shade is n 1-2 soft ivory slash classic ivory I did a review on this look how dirty the lid is gross I'm really bad about wiping the um, pump off after I use it but um, this is a really good foundation I love it so um, if you want to know more about my thoughts on it you can watch my review I'm wearing it today um, but it's really hot out, so, like I said, don't judge my foundation by today. Um, okay, so for my face, also, I've been loving my Lancome Star Matte Bronzer in, I think it's Sunkissed. Yeah, Sunkissed, my bad. I think I always write Sunkissed. Yep, pretty sure I do. Gonna have to change that. So, that's what it looks like. It's a matte bronzer. I'm wearing it today like a contour but I think it's the best kind of contour shade for me so um and I also kind of use it in my t-zone a little bit I don't really like powder so I don't like looking cakey so this is really good stuff I'm pretty sure this is permanent so they have another shade too and they also have like shimmery bronzers too and then prepared to be blinded <laughs> Estee Lauder blush pure color blush and I will tell you right now I think that um Estee, Essie Button, talked about this too in a video. These are the biggest pain in the butt to open. Like I did, a, I think, a one hand haul type post or favorites post and I could not get it open with one hand. You can't, like, you have to like really tug at it with both fingers. So I, I don't like that, that about the packaging. But um, it's basically just a really nice neutral color. 
There's a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not um, too crazy. Oh, I forgot to tell you the color. It's Lover's Blush, which is a name that I cannot stand, but it's a really good blush, so um, highly recommend that. Also, I've been loving, totally unexpected, this is the only thing I got from the Hey Sailor collection from MAC, but this is the Fleet Fast Blush. It's just such a nice color. I mean, when I looked at it, when I saw it, in the promotional images and stuff, I was just like, eh, whatever, boring. But when I actually swatched it, it's just, it swatches so pretty. Can't really explain it, but it just gives you like a really nice flush of color that looks really natural. So, love me some of that. Um, for my eyes, I still am obsessed with these Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadows. I pretty much wear one of them every day as a base. So, my favorite this month has been Copper. I'm wearing that today also as a base. Um, I'm kind of wearing it on my lid and I'm going to just put some other stuff around it. If you want to know what kind of stuff I'm wearing on my face, I always put that in the down bar. Um, okay. I've got so many lip things to talk about. Just like hop to the rest of the stuff really quick. So this is, oh my god, this is so dirty on the tip for my eyeshadow. But this is the Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil in uh, Winter White. And I just wear this in the inner corners, but it is so nice for that because it does not move. That's what I really love about these is that they don't budge. Like you can put, you put them on and they're still on when, like before you take your makeup off at night. Perfect. And like exactly how you put them on to begin with. So they sell those only at CVS, I think, but they're awesome. Totally worth the money. Um, let's see. One more face makeup type thing. This is the Too Faced Lashgasm bag. <laughs> I hate that name. Um, mascara. And I never ever would have given this a chance, but I got this as a sample with a recent order. And I wouldn't have even, I mean, the brush, it's plastic. I don't usually like plastic brushes. I like fiber, like the fibers usually. Um, but this is really good. I'm wearing it today, too. I'm not... You can't tell. Why, why do I keep, like, putting my face close to the camera? You can't see anything. <laughs> but, um... It's a really good mascara. I probably also never would have given it a chance based on the name. But... Can't always judge a book by its cover. This is actually a really good mascara. And, um... Speaking of Too Faced... I brought one of the boxes out because the boxes are so freaking cute. I did a review post with swatches on my blog, and I will link that below, but um, definitely one of my favorites this month, hands down, has been these Too Faced um, La Creme Color Drenched Lip Creams. These are so nice. I love everything about them. I love the packaging. I love the outer packaging, as I just showed you. It's like a, um, like a gold kind of chrome, like metal. It's like really sturdy packaging and it doesn't scratch up, which is really nice. Um, this one is my favorite. This is Naked Dolly. I'm going to swatch them all. Um, it's basically like tea rose, only this one really doesn't dry my lips. I think I'm, I might even like it more than tea rose. I mean, we'll see. We'll, time will tell. This is Nude Beach. A bit more of a, like a neutral nude. Um, and this one is Marshmallow Bunny. I see this color being really popular. Just in general. It has like a little bit of like a sheen to it. It's only one of the three that does. It's kind of like pearlescent, I guess. So this is Naked Dolly. This is Nude Beach. And this is Marshmallow Bunny. Swatches aren't perfect, but you can see better swatches and lip swatches on my blog. If you are curious, another lip favorite. I brought the box out again to show you. I got this on eBay. It's um, from it Etude House. It's the Dear My Blooming Lips Talk <laughs> lipstick in OR203. Look at how cute this packaging is. It has a little bow. So cute. And it's pink. So this is the color. Yeah, how me is that? It's, oh, yeah, look it. Can you see? There's like a little heart with a crown embedded into it, too. God, so freaking adorable. So, there's that. It's basically like a cross between 
Laura Mercier Rose Quartz and Dior Saint Tropez, which are basically my two favorite lipsticks right now, so, like, period. So, uh, yeah, obviously I like that. Then, um, another favorite, which is, like, which, like, the Saint Tropez really, like, jump-started my re-love, my re-love, my love for, uh, creamy lipsticks. And I found this one at the CCO. This is Bobbi Brown Sunrise. Again, it's a really, it, like, looks really coral, but on my lips it really looks like more of a nude for some reason. But there's a swatch of that. I put swatches of this on Instagram, too. But it's really nice. I think they're $16, $16 at the CCO and $23 if you buy them um, from a department store. But that shade, I think, was discontinued. So another thing I've been wearing a lot this month is this uh, Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush Glossy Lip Tint. There's a bunch of shades of these, but I just got this one. It's just like a My Lips But Better. With my lips watches, <laughs> everything always looks the same. So, oh, this shade is, uh, it doesn't say. Awesome. I hate that. I think it might have rubbed off. I'm not sure. It's like the neutral shade. I think it might have had nude in, the, in it or something. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the info bar if I can find out for you. I hate not putting the name of something. Also, I had to mention, because I've talked about these before, this is the L'Oreal um, Colorish Caress Stick. This is shade 184 Merino Mauve. And as I suspected from seeing a picture of this on Target's website, this is my favorite shade in the range. Finally, a shade that is really me. So there you go. Because I tried several. Several of them. There's someone talking. It's scary. Um, I tried several, several of the shades already, and they were okay, but none of the shades really stood out to me. So I was really happy to find that one. And yes, they have all the shades at, at Target now. I just, I saw them all yesterday. They had the full, like it's not on the actual display rack, but on the like the L'Oreal shelf. Look for them on the shelf. And then another thing, I'm so annoyed. So I ran out of space and um, I went to transfer the file to my computer and I keep getting like an error in my camera, a lens error. It's like, it takes like 10 minutes for me to get my camera to turn back on because the lens will not like, it won't go back in and come back out properly. So I'm worried because with my last camera that I had, that was like the end of its life where it just, like the lens completely just would not come out again. So I had to get a new camera. So I'm really hoping that's not the case with this one, but I want a new camera anyways. I just can't afford one right now. So anyways, I was going to say, I really love this MAC casual color and keep it loose. It is awesome color. I haven't worn it on my cheeks, but on the lips, it's beautiful. That's a swatch of it all the way over there. I'm running out of space for swatches. I have a lot of lipsticks that I love this month. Um, then, last two beauty things. Nail polishes, of course. MAC Life and Beth from the Beth Ditto collection, and this is Coney Island from American Apparel. And I wore both of these together, actually, before. I think I wore them in a video, actually. I'm not sure. I think I did in the drugstore one. But um, anyways, so that's it for beauty favorites. Now, I made a little list. I'm gonna do this real fast, because I know I've, this is already long. But um, I was gonna do two separate videos, and then I was like, no, I'm not like Miss Glamorazzi or something. I can't justify doing two <laughs> separate videos for my favorites. Um, by the way, she's like my favorite ever. But other channels that I've been loving this month, um, Chelsea Wears, oh my god, I love her. I'm gonna link them all below, so if you don't understand what I'm saying or anything, just look below. Um, she's awesome, she posts videos about her cats, her little kittens that she's taken in, and um, they're like the cutest things ever. Um, Louie and Beyonce, <laughs> cutest names ever. And uh, her dog Dexter is really cute too, but she's hilarious. I love her style and her taste in makeup, and um, she posts really awesome videos and she actually inspired me to want to try dark lipsticks again which is insane it takes a lot to get me to want to try dark lipsticks but um also love shell go lightly michelle 
she knows I love her I talk talk about her a lot already but she's awesome she's like my makeup twin and style twin too we always like the same things and uh, makeup Tia I think it's makeup Tia I didn't check but if it's makeup by Tia or something I'll put that down below she um, I found her from Instagram I think is where I first started following her and I also follow her on Twitter she's Ashley Tia on Instagram but um, when I found her YouTube channel I was like oh my god her videos are so awesome she posts really great reviews of things with with like she posted a review of the L'Oreal caress sticks and she had lip swatch like she did, did lip swatches of all of them so cool so she's awesome and really nice and then um who else <laughs> I don't know why I put Miss Glamorazzi because everybody already knows who she is but I love Ingrid I think like for some reason she's getting a lot of hate lately and I just think she seems like the sweetest person and she comes off so genuine on camera and I love like all the vlog videos with her and her friends and her boyfriend Luke and like when all of these beauty people come together and make videos together that's like oh my god I die inside I feel like a teenager again <laughs> but um, I'm such a dork so and I love like Tanya um, pixie Two woo and stuff and all those people and I also love Tanya's boyfriend that's another channel that I named um, vlogs with Jim is his vlog channel I love his vlogs oh he is so funny I especially like for some reason when he does videos with Joey Graceffa I just die laughing the two of them are so funny together and they remind me of friends of mine growing up so um yeah totally love them then let's see oh another favorite these Kate Spade studs um I love these because I can wear them to work and I can also wear them out and about and I really don't like earrings but these I love and um, usually I don't spend money on jewelry uh, like in terms of earrings and stuff because I don't really wear earrings very often but um, I'm really allergic to nickel so I was like you know if I always buy if I buy jewelry I buy stuff from Aldo and stuff and it ends up irritating my ears so I was like I should just invest in something that I can wear and won't irritate my skin so yeah love those um, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh TV shows Glee Project Tia and Tamara I love Tia and Tamara. They are awesome. Um, and I recently have gotten into Game of Thrones. I've only watched the first season, so don't spoil it for me. And um, Girls, which I got into Girls. I've been watching it online. So bad. But um, I got into Girls because I saw, um, I think it's Lena Dunham, if I'm wrong, correct me, um, her movie Tiny Furniture, which was really bizarre, but I loved it. And another movie that I loved this month was The Skin I Live In, which is, um, oh shoot, I forgot to research how to say his name, because I hate saying names wrong, but it's Pedro Almo. It's a really famous um, Spanish director. He directed Volver with, um, he's done a lot of movies with Penelope Cruz. Um, another one that, what's another one that I've seen by him that I loved? Oh no, I can't remember. <laughs> but um, it's really good. It's with Antonio Banderas, and it is like crazy, full of twists and suspenseful, and also really spooky. So if you like kind of bizarre movies and don't mind subtitles, yeah, definitely recommend that. Um, I read two books this month. I read Delirium by Lauren Oliver, which was really good. I'm reading the sequel, Pandemonium, right now. And um, I also read the 20 something book. <laughs> in the Alice McKinley series which is by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor and I've been reading this book series since I was in fourth grade I and I loved these books so much that when I was in fifth grade I think I can't remember if it was fourth or fifth grade I actually called Phyllis Reynolds Naylor her phone number was listed and she lived in Maryland but um I called her on the phone and talked to her and did like a little interview for her for my school paper how nerdy am I <laughs> but um I've been reading the books ever since and the last one in the series is coming out next year and I'm gonna be really sad so because I feel like I've grown up with her but um but yeah I don't know if I would recommend them like right now the, the books have kind of like trailed off they're not as good as they were when I was younger but um I still like I read all of them and I it just like feels like home to read them so and then for music, you're gonna laugh at me because my two favorites this month are so polar opposites. But um, I got the CDs at the same time too. 
the new Justin Bieber CD. Love it. I can't stop playing it in my car. It is awesome. I love pop music. And uh, Fiona Apple, the new Fiona Apple album, The Idler Wheel. Love that too. So, like I said, polar opposites. And then, where's my other favorite? I think she's inside because it's really hot. My little chubs are out here. But, um, let me see if I can find her. Because I want you to see her. You know what it's going to be already. Look at, look at Mouse. He's so dirty. You're so dirty from playing outside. There have been painters and stuff working all week here. Hey, Sam. Let's go find your sister Lola. She's probably in her favorite spot. Like, look at this. This is a mess, too, because my parents had um, all this furniture delivered to me. Is she in here? Where's the Lola girl? Where's, I got a futon. <laughs> my apartment's so messy, I can't believe I'm walking through my apartment. Um, there's my Lola girl. Who's that baby Lola? Hello, Miss Lola. Are you my new princess? Oh, who's that Princess Lola? She's the prettiest girl. So this is Lola. Oh, it's a big stretch. And she was a stray that I took in. And uh, she's been here for about a week and a half already. And she's doing really well. Um, hello, <laughs> man. But um, sometimes she does sit by the door and cry or like go up to the window and cry. And it makes me really sad. But I know it's better for her to be inside and safe and getting fed regularly. So I just love her. She's such a princess. Hello, you. So cute. But, um... Anyways, let me turn this around so I can say goodbye. So that is my, the end of my um, June favorites. Very, very long favorites. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. And let me show you again some more of this chaos before I go. This is, I had so many books and boxes for my parents. These are my Blythe dolls, by the way. <laughs> you didn't think I was a dork already. So, yeah, I got a bunch of new bookcases. Why am I filming sideways? Yeah, okay. So there's that bookcase. Two bookcases over there. A bookcase here. Yeah, I have way too many books. But, um... Whoa! This is like the worst filming ever. So that's the end of my favorites video and a whole bunch of other random crap. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. I love ya. And, uh, I'll talk to you soon.